Speaking of being a little bit pessimistic going into a movie, I admit I'm not the world's biggest fan of the Godzilla films. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy a Godzilla movie. Uh, they're, they're kind of fun. But, you know, I, I mentioned this on the show the other day. To me, Godzilla movies have kind of become, they're basically like zombie movies. At the end of the day, they're really all the same. Some are better than others, but it's, you know, Godzilla comes out of the ocean, uh, rah, rah, rah. Oh no, it's Godzilla. The city's being destroyed. Godzilla walks back out into the water. There's something, and some variation of that. Maybe there's another monster that comes in that he fights. They're, they're essentially kind of the same, much like zombie movies, right? Again, not that I haven't enjoyed a good Godzilla film. I do. But Godzilla Minus One is not one that caught my attention, really. And then when I hear everybody talking about how great it is, I, again, I admit I was pessimistic. I thought this is one of those situations where this smaller foreign film, everybody's just going to rave about it because that's what you're supposed to do. These smaller foreign films with lower budgets, like 15 million is what they made this movie for. You're supposed to come out and say how awesome it is. So I, I admit I was a little bit dubious. Ray got me kind of excited though. His enthusiasm for this project over the last year or over the last few months has, has been contagious and I got excited to go see it. But still, when I sat in that theater last night, I I had a li I didn't do it outwardly, but inside I'm kind of like this. Show me, you know, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Guys, this movie is great. It's so good. This movie's great, and here's one of the best things about it. Let me start with this. Godzilla has primacy in the movie. And every moment that Godzilla is on screen, Godzilla is doing really cool stuff. The most boring shot of Godzilla in this movie is still an awesome shot. It's a shot taken from behind, a bit to the left, down low, camera pointing up. A porn at hub. Godzilla, <laughs> Godzilla just standing there, not moving, looking up in the sky beholding the glory of the mushroom cloud that he just created. Oh, wow. And it's like, oh my God, that shot is awesome. I could make a poster out of that. I would totally put a poster of that up on my wall. That looks so good. It's the only time he's just kind of standing still. Everything else, I mean, yeah, Godzilla doesn't have a lot of expressions other than extremely pissed off. That's all, <laughs> his face. Every time it's on his face, he looks just really pissed off. But the carnage and the damage and the awe-inspired Godzilla. And our when we first meet Godzilla in the movie, it's a Godzilla I don't think I've ever seen in the movies before. And I'm not going to say in what way, because I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But when he first pops up in the first act of the film, like, am, is, is that Godzilla? And it was great. But let me move past Godzilla for a second. One of the complaints that a lot of people will have about Godzilla movies is sometimes when they focus too much on the humans. There's the main story of this movie is about humans. And it's a great story. They put a great human story in the context of a Godzilla movie that worked so well. At the end of the day, the movie is really about this young man who was, you know, just finished World War II, survived the war. And one of the common refrains throughout it is the war is still not over for me. He's still struggling and wrestling with guilt and pain and the horrors of war. And trying to navigate all that while there's a giant Godzilla walking yep. around wrecking havoc on the world. Yep. And they, they picture that with him at times trying to move on with his life and find beauty in life again, all with Godzilla as the background of it. Right. And while that may sound like a mess, it worked beautifully mm -hmm. um, to the point where I am not admittedly the most qualified person in the world to make this statement. So take that with a grain of salt. It's a personal subjective thing, and I'm not the most qualified to speak on this as far as Godzilla movies go. I think this is the best Godzilla movie ever made. I mean, I, I just, it wasn't just, because here's the thing. A great comic book movie shouldn't just be a great comic book movie. You should be able to look at it and say, that's a great movie, period. I thought this was a really great, well-made movie, mm -hmm. period, with or without Godzilla, and man, Godzilla is plenty of Godzilla, and it's so good. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, 
Rocket Money. Do you struggle to save money every month? With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify all those sneaky subscriptions that keep charging you month after month and cancel any you no longer use. For example, did you know that over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've completely forgotten about? It's too easy to subscribe to a free trial of something and then completely forget about it once you stop using it. That's why I'm such a big fan of Rocket Money. I've told you guys before that when I started using Rocket Money, I realized that I was still subscribed to a gym in another city I had moved away from two years ago. Also, my music service? Yeah, I found out I was still subscribed to two others. How much do you think you're paying a month on subscriptions? Most people think they're paying 80 bucks a month, but they're actually paying closer to 200. That's why I use Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the ones you don't want with just the press of a button. With over 5 million users and counting, Rocket Money has helped save its customers on an average of $720 a year and $1 billion in total Total savings so far. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. Rocketmoney.com slash campia. Ray, I, I got to go to you on this because you're the person, I don't know anybody who's been more excited about this Godzilla movie than you. What did you let, think about it? Let me put this in context. Like, I haven't seen any of the older Godzilla movies, but I always loved like the the actual just the the that this thing like just the, the thought of like the the lore like of a huge dinosaur yeah. looking thing just it's terrifying i mean yeah. it's like the so look at that even that the imagery in this like look at it right here right because i mean you right. saw this movie so actually effective. but i mean look I, at that it's terrifying not, this is not a spoiler but i have to say the atomic breath thing is the great one of the greatest oh, so scenes good ever and that thing like um i love the people in this um that i i i was cheering for godzilla the whole time okay like, and let me interrupt you let me hold your thought hold your thought what ray just said i was cheering for godzilla the whole time jonathan just had a picture of him up a second ago the main character of the film right mm -hmm. i am sitting there in the theater and ray is literally because th this is not a hero Godzilla. This is a destructive force of nature Godzilla. It's not a hero. It's not a good guy Godzilla. This is he's the bad guy, right? As the movie's going on and this guy is running around, Ray is like literally out loud in the theater. Get him! Get him, Godzilla! Get him! He's like, like, yeah. like, get him! Get him! It Godzilla. just proves to you. I it just proves it. to you because I was like that at first. But the way they did the story towards the end, I was all on that guy's side. Yes, suddenly so, starts, that's how good they did it. That's how good this story is. You guys, if if you guys give this movie a shot, uh, this it, this is the first movie I've seen. Oh where my god, this, this shot in the movie. Oh. It's like nightmare fuel. That yeah. shot in the movie was the whole scene. That whole scene was so good. I want to boop his little snoot. Oh, uh, not with those, not with that gaze. I've never watched a movie so like hungry. in the theaters that had subtitles. Us. So this was my first one, and it was fine. Like, like I, uh, the thing with subtitles is I'm afraid to look away, even like look right, at my right, food because yeah. I might miss something. Yeah. I didn't have that. Like I, I was following fine all along. I stayed up the whole time. Yeah, well, I mean, I'd hope so. You've been looking forward to this. You, I, I, what you slept in I this. I, I forgot the one. Th oh. If anyone gets to the theater early, uh, I hate to change the subject real quick, but there's this trailer that played before Godzilla. <laughs> it's been haunting. Well, let's, let's stick okay. with Godzilla okay, for okay, now. Okay. Let's, uh, let's okay. stick with Godzilla for now. I know where you're going with that. Okay. okay. But I, I I have to just double down on this about Ray expressionisms in the thing because there's a scene where I won't say who or what or the context, but there's a scene where like a mother of a child gets blown away by the nuclear blast right you see this woman and the nuclear blast goes off and the explosion from it and it blows this mother away and it's kind of like this tense moment when that happens and all you hear in the theater is ray ha <laughs> 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 you gotta have some empathy i didn't, I didn't laugh at theater godzilla there, there, it's like somebody rooting for jaws <laughs> no 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 here's the thing here's the thing godzilla was just chilling <laughs> Y'all had to explode on his thing. You woke him up, all right? So Fair. it's your fault. Fair. It's your fault. Like he's just being an animal. <laughs> if you're an animal, you do animal things, right? So Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but but I was shocked at how much emotions and feelings yeah. I had towards the actual people. I was there for Godzilla. I left with like 
I wonder what for these the characters. People, what, I wonder what's going to happen to these people. I hope this happens for them or this happens. So it's a, it was a great it was a great uh, roller coaster where I went full circle. Yeah. In this, uh, uh, and and listen, uh, this has got to be noted. <clears throat> the movie had a production budget of fifteen million dollars. Insane. Did this look like a two hundred million dollar film? No, it, it it did not look like a two hundred million dollar film. But my God, it looks like a hell of a lot more than a fifteen million dollar film. Yeah. Like it's it's movies like District Nine and it's movies like this that go. If you can do this for fifteen million, what is the excuse of some studios making movies that look like they should have cost sixty-five million but cost two hundred and ten million? Like I, it, I also got to say one more thing. For me, at least, I needed a movie like this. If you've yeah. been disappointed in a, the past couple movies you've seen, you want to switch it up. Maybe in something that you think you might not be into, you're like subtitles. This and that. Give it a shot. I mean, it's a good time. I mean, really, as much emotion as there is in the movie, I had a good time. I had a good time the whole time. And to your point, like seeing a movie like this, because I realized today, like I'm always excited about going to the movies, but you know, when you see a couple of mediocre ones in a, in a row, your enthusiasm drops a little bit. But seeing a movie like that, all of a sudden now I'm like, Man, I can't wait to see American Fiction. Yeah. Man, I can't wait to see Silent Night. Man, I can't wait to see Wonka. Like, I find myself getting, like, more hype now about getting back into right. the movie theaters. That's what a good movie can do for you. Yeah. Chris, you did not see Godzilla Minus One with us No, I kept going, I'll go see it. And then there were 8.30 showings, and I know who I am. You go to bed. I go to bed then. <laughs> I'm an old lady. I'm, do I'm doing stand-up tomorrow at 9.30, and I was like, P.M.? P.M.? <laughs> What if we do a morning show? Where, yeah. where are you doing stand? We're doing at Flappers. What? In Burma? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm. It'll be good. But back to Godzilla. I am very excited about this movie. I Mostly I've just been excited and waiting to see how Ray's responded because your, your tomato tracker has been so wonderful of just checking <laughs> in on the well, What is it right now, even though it's you've like seen 96%. it? 96%. Okay. I, I, oh, I, that's oh, the first thing I checked. we got to find a couple people just... There's yeah. like Tell two, people. What's what. two people. Two of you get on board. I'm very excited about this. I I love kaiju movies. I love yeah. monster movies. I love that kind of stuff. Um, I know you guys know horror isn't my thing really, but anytime it's a monster wrecking shop, oh, I'm here for it. Because I, <laughs> I am more like Ray where I tend to root for the, the kaiju of just like humanity. You're such bullshit. Get out of its way. It's just a sleepy baby who yeah, you disturbed. Exactly. Oh, and uh -huh. the design of Godzilla. That's That was different. It's just the face. The whole time, the face. Uh, it's just, oh, is the Godzilla so that we have right now that was in King of the Monsters, is that considered American Godzilla? The American version I of Godzilla? I think so, yeah. I've See, the thing with the American version of Godzilla is I think he's adorable. Even when he was beating the crap out of Kong, I was like, look at that cute face. He has such a big neck. You know, like he's a cute, like you can make that. This Godzilla, on the other hand, this one looks like it wants to eat you, even if you're already dead. He'll eat you anyways. He'll eat you again, spit you out. This Godzilla. There was some of that in the movie. Uh, yeah, I love, <laughs> I love the the differences in these. Uh, now I have two Godzillas, but then we went. I went home to Monarch, and coming. I from, still haven't seen the oh, new okay, episode of Monarch. Okay, okay. I wanted to ask you about that. It's uh, the mouth should have went reverse. He has a smaller mouth. His, yeah. you know, his his build is a little less. But like, he's cute. Look, he's like tubby. He's uh, like tubby. He is tubby. You know, look yeah, at the hands. That's why I love it. It's like a baby Godzilla. This yeah. Godzilla has huge claws. His are little like T Rex babies. It's like if you could take Godzuki seriously. <laughs> Godzuki. Godzuki. Yeah, this Godzilla wasn't cute. He was terrifying. All right. He's a menace. With that Everybody down, guys, is. we highly recommend you get out and see Godzilla minus one. It's a lot of fun. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.